Hello guys, this is Kinga from On Her Bike. Welcome to my channel. I can't say this video will be a review. It's more a presentation of the gear I'm wearing, of the new gear that I've been just uh, given by my, my supporters and uh, old gear that I've been using for years. And I really wanted to dedicate this video to my official On Her Bike partners because without these guys, my traveling wouldn't be happening. I would like to welcome my new official partner, Quadlock. Quadlock and I, we go way back. In 2017, Quadlock approached me, then I was in Kazakhstan, six months into my round the world trip. Quadlock approached me if I would like to test their gear. So they sent me their two phone holders, one for the, uh, for the bars and one for the mirror. Why I'm using two? Well, because they sent me two, so I've, I've just attached both of them. But to be honest, I do use two. Normally, I tend to put my phone here because it's out of sort of my dashboard, but I use this one, for example, in places like Johannesburg um, or places where I'm not feeling safe or, and I don't want my phone to be exposed on the mirror. Then I place it here. But the one on the mirror was used the most. Since 2017, I use this continuously, all the time, maintenance free. Nothing ever had just happened to this. So since this generation of very first quad logs that I got to test for so many years, quad log came up with new solutions. Like for example, with a charging solution for the phone. So what you see here is weatherproof wireless charging head. The way it's connected, it's actually, there is a cable that goes along my bus and I connect it to the USB port. If it's raining heavily, I have to disconnect it because <laughs> to, to be honest, I'll be worried about my USB port more than anything else. And another improvement is the vibration dampener it's this thing here so it definitely will protect your phone from the vibration and on the mount i mean it's great that's fantastic they come up with this but to be honest even if i was using this basic quad lock i found it still fine i mean yeah phone sometimes you know if you're going on a really rough road or corrugations you can see it was shaking a bit so probably won't have that but still was solid hard and never never unlock itself it's time to show you my new gear are you ready so let's start with the jacket. This is Revit Send for ladies jacket in the color of camouflage. I love it. It's like green, brown, really cool. I've never seen jacket like this on the market. It's really nice and slim and fits really well, I think, for the ladies. And ventilation, we've got zippers here, here. We got the zippers here. And wait, this is the best. So this is the main zipper. But underneath, you've got second zipper. <laughs> which sort of allows you to have the jacket open and the ventilation just sort of flows through that big gap. And then you have ventilation here and here, plenty of zips. I've tested it yesterday in 35, it was going well. So yeah, that's the jacket. And I forgot about the pockets. <laughs> so quite cool pockets, they're quite spacious. So you got pockets here, you got pockets here. Perfect. I love that uh, pocket at the back. And it comes with two layers, which I don't carry in Africa. So this is the waterproof inner layer. It's called Hydratex. And you sort of you hook it to the jacket, you know, it's got like, you connect it so when you take the jacket off, that stays inside. It really, it feels so smooth. That's the only waterproof jacket I carry with me in Africa. So in terms of pants, it's exactly the same scenario, although I am not carrying the pants in Africa. I will probably when I move to another continent. The temperatures here are high, so even if it rains, I just get wet and I don't care about my legs. Here I need to keep warm and dry. Here, not so much. Time to show my pants. So pants come with two pockets as well. And you've got a pocket here. You, of course you have knee guards, very solid ones. And in terms of ventilation, you just open yourself up like that. And when you ride, the wind just blows through here. I also have new gloves. They are from Revit, that series. Uh, this model is called Massive. They fall more for off-road. And here in Namibia, I do a lot of gravel and a lot of off-road. So I'm um, choosing to wear these gloves for now. They're just really flexible and comfortable and much lighter to the ones I was wearing before, the sand gloves. Yeah, I like them. These are former Terras Evo. I've been riding in this model for five years, I reckon. And what I really love about them is they are waterproof, they are very comfortable, they have still enough protection to prevent you from uh, injuring yourself when you're coming off, for example, on a dead road. I am absolutely in love with these boots. And now I've got them in brown, before I had them in black, but now I have them in brown so they can match my new jacket. And in terms of new things, I also have new goggles. See? 
of course they're green to match my jacket they're green and sort of gold and orange my favorite goggles ever and i'm wearing them with my rie tour x4 which is all the but goodies still going strong some people ask me why i'm wearing goggles and why i have visor on i'll tell you in a second so this is my setup while i'm riding and the reason for that is i prefer riding in goggles than visor just the visor with the sunnies why because visor gets dirty in the dust you know what when i'm riding in sunnies i do this all the time like this so i need to look after my skin and this is the best anti-wrinkling solution your eyes are always relaxed there's no dust coming in there's no wind coming in my eyes are relaxed all the time so i wear goggles on the pavement at high speed in the rain on dirt everywhere all the time in the city all the time and Wearing goggles gives you more ventilation. If you look, Liat goggles fill up our eye quite well, but here you still have the gap where you can have extra ventilation. And why I'm wearing goggles and a visor only because sometimes when I'm recording my voice on Sina, it's so windy, so I close the visor over the goggles to stop the wind coming in. That's it. Last not least, it's not new, but I have to mention about my neck brace because that's pretty much my will complete my outfit. <laughs> this is the last missing piece on me. Carbon Liad 6.5, absolutely the best of the best. Um, I, I don't ride without neck brace ever. Uh, I always have it on. It's my personal choice. I mean, especially off road, uh, I think it's very important to have it. I think it's just the best one out there because it's, you see, it's so slim. Da da. <laughs> Also on this video, I would like to mention other brands that I've been uh, collaborating for, for a while and I absolutely love their gear and I'm forever grateful for their support. So let's start with Long Rider. <laughs> so on my bike, I have Long Rider motor bags, tall bags at the back. I've got Overlander as a carry-on. I also have mini bags at the front on the engine guards. And let's not forget about the tent, Long Rider tent. I did a full review on ADV tent and I also did a full review on all Long Rider bags. I will attach these links below in the description. So if you're interested, you can check it out. And now it's time to expose Outback Mototech. <laughs> These guys are always covered with with the bag, so no one really can see them. Outback Mototech and I, we go way, 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 way back. I think we partnered in 2014 after my trip around Australia. And uh, soon after I put my new engine guards on, I had a head on collision with a car. I mean, the bike was a mess from the front, but the engine stayed un untouched. So uh, I did a little review, if you're interested. That's been a long time since. <laughs> I will attach the link below so you can check it out. It's been ages and ages, but I'm still with Outback Mototech and I still think this is the best brand out there for engine guards and skid plates. Also what I really love about them is, see you can like attach so many things, so many things. For overlanding, perfect. And last but not least, I have to mention about my super favorite tires. I love them so, 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 so much. They're actually brand new. I just put them uh, new ones on. But like Adventure Cross from Bridgestone. I've been using these tires for over two years now and I am absolutely in love with these tires. You know, for the way I'm riding during my round the world trip, during overlanding, I think they just give everything what I need in tires. They have fantastic grip on road. They handle so well on paved road and they are soft compound tires. So they're not slippery on wet, which is so important as well. They are 40, 60, 40 on road, 60 off road. So they are really, really nice. Have I mentioned, are they nice? They're really, really nice tires. <laughs> Guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you on Her Bike Official Partners for supporting my journey. I couldn't make it without you. What else should I say at the end? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the other videos. I also prepared two videos on how to prepare for a round the world trip. Not much has changed since the videos were released because in terms of regulations and paperwork and all of that, it's all same even now on the road. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you later. <laughs>